In this question, vanadium pentoxide or vanadium 5 oxide is used to catalyze this exothermic reaction. So we use V2O5 to speed up the reaction. And this exothermic reaction, so if this is an exothermic reaction, the reactants will have high energy and the product will have low energy. Sulfur dioxide will be low and sulfur dioxide plus oxygen will have high energy. The rate of this reaction can be increased. Remember what factors can affect the rate. If you want to change the rate or the speed of a chemical reaction, what we can do, we can change, add, increase the concentration. If you want to increase the rate, the rate can be changed by these factors. Number one, uh, the concentration. Number two, the surface area. Number three, the temperature. Number four, the catalyst. Number five is by pressure only valid for gases. This is how we can change the rate or the speed of a chemical reaction. But if we want to shift the equilibrium, the equilibrium can be affected The equilibrium can be changed by only three factors. Concentration, like adding reactant or product, increasing or decreasing, uh, temperature, and the pressure. So these are the three factors which can shift the equilibrium. And these are the five factors which can alter the rate or the speed of a chemical reaction. So the question is that we use vanadium pentoxide or V2O5 as a catalyst for this. So V2O5 or vanadium pentoxide is used as a catalyst. The question is the rate of this reaction can be increased by either using a catalyst or by increasing a temperature. Explain why a catalyst is used, not the higher temperature. Like why we did not increase the temperature, we just use a catalyst. Because what will happen if we increase this forward reaction is exothermic. So if this reaction is exothermic, when we increase the temperature, where the equilibrium will shift? Left. Uh, towards the left. So it will shift towards the left hand side. So increase in temperature will shift the equilibrium towards the left hand side. When the equilibrium will shift towards the left hand side, what happened to the percentage of sulfur trioxide or yield? So the yield will decrease. The so yield or amount of a sulfur trioxide will decrease. So it means will not get the desired amount of sulfur trioxide or will get a smaller quantity of sulfur trioxide. So catalyst will not affect the yield, but temperature will affect the yield as well. Like even if you use high temperature, reaction will be faster, but the amount of the product which is given off, it will be small. So catalyst will not affect the yield or it will not change the position of equilibrium. It only affect the rate. But if we change the temperature, it will affect the rate as well as yield. In question five, iodine is reacting with chlorine to form a dark brown liquid, iodine monochloride. You can see this is a equation is given. Iodine plus chlorine gives iodine. Uh, monochloride and iodine monochloride when more chlorine is added it will become iodine trichloride and it become yellow when more chlorine is added the reversible reaction occur and the reaction come in equilibrium give another example of reversible reaction so any other example of a reversible reaction so mr uh... Uh, hydrogen plus nitrogen uh, ammonia gives ammonia. Yeah, so any uh, you can mention like nitrogen plus hydrogen give ammonia or sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide. So manufacture of ammonia by a Haber process or the reaction of sulfur dioxide with oxygen. Cooking an egg is reversible 
how you will reverse the change, Rafi? Like how you will convert the ad back to the original state? So actually, you can mention any other reversible. No, no, the question is reversible one. So <clears throat> you can mention like nitrogen combined with hydrogen to give ammonia. So N2 plus 3H2 gives to NH3. Any example you can take? Or manufacture of sulfur trioxide. Then explain the term equilibrium. Again, this term equilibrium is of two marks. So what are the points you will include? You will first mention the rate of the forward is equal to rate of backward. That is one mark. So here rate of forward equals to the rate of backward reaction and there is no change in concentration or amount of reactant and product. So the, the term adding more chlorine, like first what happened when iodine combined with chlorine, it formed iodine monochloride. And then iodine monochloride, we add more chlorine to iodine monochloride, not the first reaction, the second, re because the first reaction is irreversible reaction, only one arrow. The second reaction is reversible, we are adding more chlorine, so it will produce more iodine trichloride. So chlorine is added to more iodine monochloride to give iodine trichloride. The chlorine is removed from the tube and new equilibrium is formed. Explain why there is a less yellow solid and more brown brown liquid in the new equilibrium mixture. Like if you read the question, the chlorine is removed. Now what we are doing, we are removing chlorine. We reduce the amount of the reactant. So if I reduce the amount of reactant, where the balance or equilibrium will shift? Uh, towards left. It will shift towards the left hand side. So basically what we are doing, we are reducing the amount of the reactant. Like because we are, the question is chlorine is removed. So if chlorine is removed, we reduce the amount of the reactant. That's why the equilibrium is shifted towards the left hand side. So if the equilibrium or the balance will shift toward the left, what I will see more, brown solid or a yellow solid? Brown liquid or a yellow solid? What I will see more? If the equilibrium is shifted towards the left. Because equilibrium shift toward left, so I'll see brown liquid more compared to yellow solid. So answer here that when the chlorine is removed from the tube, a new equilibrium form, explain why there is less yellow solid and more dark brown liquid is there. So reason is that the concentration of the chlorine reduce or amount of reduce or decrease which shift the equilibrium towards left hand side. That's why we'll get more brown liquid than a yellow solid. Then a sealed tube containing equilibrium mixture is placed in a ice cold water. Ice cold water means like we decrease the temperature. There's an increase in amount of yellow solid. This was yellow. This is brown. So it means amount of yellow solid has increased. It means the equilibrium has shifted towards the right hand side. So when we are decreasing temperature an equilibrium has shifted towards the right hand side. What we can say about the forward reaction? It's exo. It's exo. Good. So the forward reaction is exothermic. But it's of three marks. So how you score all the three marks? First thing you will mention that increase in decrease in temperature, shift the equilibrium towards the right hand side, 
So means the forward reaction is exothermic. That will score two marks. Or equilibrium has shifted towards the right. That will be the third mark. So first thing, decrease in temperature. What happened? It shifted the equilibrium towards the right-hand side. How we identify right-hand side? Because they mentioned when we reduce the temperature, we get more yellow solid. So if decrease in temperature shift the equilibrium towards the right-hand side, it means the forward reaction is exothermic. And wh what are the, like how the marks are distributed here? When you mention exothermic, you will score one mark. When you mention forward reaction is exothermic, that is a, like forward reaction is exothermic, it's actually scoring two marks. One mark is for exothermic, one mark is for mentioning forward reaction. And decrease in temperature, shift the equilibrium towards the right, that will also score one mark. So that's how you score all three marks. So you can mention as well, decreasing a temperature, increase the yield. So the forward reaction is exothermic. Amount of a product or yield is also having a mark because if this statement, when you mention decrease temperature shift equilibrium towards the right or it increases the yield, that is one mark. Like shifting towards right also means the yield will increase. In question six, manufacturer, you will find very common questions in reversible reaction related to ammonia and sulfur trioxide. Manufacture of ammonia by the Haber's process and uh, manufacture of sulfur trioxide by or sulfuric acid by a contact process. So ammonia contain elements such as nitrogen and hydrogen. It is manufactured from these elements in a Haber's process. The forward reaction is exothermic. Nitrogen is obtained by uh, liquid air by fraction distillation from liquid air by fractional distillation. Why does this technique separate the liquid oxygen and nitrogen? As we know, fraction distillation can separate the two substances which are having a difference in the boiling point. That's that's right because oxygen, that is right because oxygen and nitrogen have different boiling points. That's why this technique will work. Name two raw material from which hydrogen is manufactured. So from where we can manufacture or get so normally, yeah, yeah. Uh, serve by electrolysis and uh, reacting methane with the steam. The, yeah, that's right. Or you can mention methane and water. But this part you will dis, uh, study in organic chemistry. So even if you don't are not able to answer now, that's fine. Normally, the raw materials here, water, will do electrolysis and cracking of. But we need a raw material. We don't, they don't ask for technique. They ask the material from which we can get hydrogen. So we can say water or we can also say by alkane. Normally from water, we can do electrolysis and alkane, we can use cracking. Or uh, when methane react with steam also, we can get hydrogen. Now the table shows how the percentage of ammonia and equilibrium mixture vary with the pressure. You can see when we are increasing a pressure, what happened to percentage of ammonia? If we are increasing a pressure, the percentage of ammonia is also increasing. And you can check from the equation, the question is why the percentage of ammonia increases as the pressure increase. So you can see from equation here, when I increase the pressure, where the equilibrium will shift. Uh, towards the right. In this case, the equilibrium will shift towards the right hand side because there are few particles or few moles are there for the product. In the increase in pressure always shift the equilibrium towards the side of less particles. So 
Explain why the percentage of ammonia increases as the pressure increases. So the point she will mention, because uh, when we increase the pressure, it will shift the equilibrium towards side of less particles. Yeah, favor the right hand side uh, because of few particles are there. That is another, like you should mention, equilibrium, increased pressure favors the equilibrium towards the right uh, because the right hand side is having few particles or few moles. How would the percentage of ammonia change if the measurement has made at low temperature? As I mentioned, this forward reaction is exothermic. Okay. If this reaction is exothermic and I am decreasing a temperature, so where the equilibrium will shift? Right. Uh, so it will shift towards the right and increases uh, the yield. It will shift towards the right hand side and it will increase the yield or amount of the product. So, how the percentage of ammonia will change? You will mention that it will increase the percentage of ammonia. Why? Because decrease in temperature uh, favors the shift the equilibrium towards the right hand side. State two reaction conditions used in a Haber process, like. This is actually related to memorizing the reaction condition. You have to uh, memorize this reaction condition. It's about, we use about 450 degree centigrade and a catalyst vanadium pentoxide. Or, sorry, iron is used. It's a Haber process. So iron is a catalyst. And we use about 450 degree centigrade temperature for this reaction and the pressure, normally a high pressure is used. It's about 150 to 300. Uh, 200 atmosphere. Yeah, 200. But the range, I am writing a range. So any 100, 150 to 300 ATM. So these are the reaction conditions you have to memorize. Like memorize, learn these reaction conditions for manufacture of Ammonia by paper process. You will learn these conditions later in uh, the topic about air, but uh, it's also related to reversible reactions. So you just have to memorize these conditions. For sulfur trioxide uh, manufacture, uh, vanadium pentoxide is a catalyst, temperature is same, but the pressure is two to three ATM. The only difference, if I want to manufacture sulfur trioxide, This one, this reaction, it's the catalyst is vanadium pentoxide, V2O5 is a catalyst. The temperature is around 450 degrees centigrade and the pressure is two to three ATM. That is for manufacture sulfur trioxide and manufacture of ammonia by Haber process, iron catalyst, 450 degrees centigrade and the temperature is about uh, 200 uh, sorry, pressure is about 150 to 300 ATM. So these are some questions related to reversible reaction.